The bankers lie and say cryptocurrency is not a real investment. Meanwhile, the smartest CEOs in the world are buying billions and billions of it. The electric car maker Tesla has sold off most of its holdings in Bitcoin. The company's owner, Elon Musk, revealed Tesla made a major investment in Bitcoin, but the company is now backing away as the value of Bitcoin has fallen by more than 50% so far this year. Remember the problem is not Elon Musk or Bitcoin. The problems are the Fed, Treasury, and Biden. They control your thoughts, they control your breathing, they control your injections, they control your money. They'll know everything about you. Banks lie about cryptocurrency. Crypto means they can no longer control your money. You crypto guys, you gotta be smarter today. I'm very bullish, I'm very optimistic about Bitcoin. Now is the time for us to come together, fight back, and take control. Coin is important, I'm gonna buy more. Now the bankers are back to take away your financial freedom. They lie and tell you that cryptocurrency isn't safe. They try to make it illegal for you to choose how to invest your hard-earned money. They lie and say cryptocurrency is used by money launderers and criminals. But look at the record. It's the banks themselves that launder hundreds of billions of dollars every year to the biggest criminal operations in the world. Leaked documents have revealed how some UK banks have helped criminals, money launderers, and Russians under sanctions. American authorities discovered that the Sinaloa cartel moved $881 million through HSBC accounts as bank officials turned a blind eye to the illegality. The greedy bankers are about to do it again. In 2008, they crashed our financial system and nearly bankrupted the entire global economy. Then they received trillions of dollars in government bailouts. And after, they demanded fat bonuses paid for by you, the taxpayer. It turns out the banks haven't just been screwing the American taxpayers, they're also screwing over their investors. Turns out uh, the banking industry is the worst place you could put your money despite enormous taxpayer bailouts. The bankers lie and say cryptocurrency is not a real investment. Meanwhile, the smartest CEOs in the world are buying billions and billions of it. The truth is that banks lie about cryptocurrency because it makes them scared. The banks take $9 trillion per year of your hard-earned money, and they are worried that they will finally be exposed. They're scared because crypto means they can no longer control your money, which means they can no longer control you. They are scared because you might actually understand your money and intelligently decide what to do with it. So that's why you crypto guys, you gotta be smarter today. You gotta be smarter because what possibly, it hasn't happened yet, is a Fed coin or a Yuan coin, a Chinese coin. China would probably have it before the US and they wanna destroy Bitcoin. So you guys in Bitcoin, you've gotta be smarter. So as it's coming down, like I said, I'm still gonna buy more. Coin is important, it's gonna crash. I think if it goes to 27,000 a coin, I'm gonna buy more. I'm gonna back up the truck, just like I did when it passed uh, 9,000, because I'm very optimistic about Bitcoin. And let me explain why, but also why the risk is here. This is macro financial education. So in 1960 and 1980, my generation, the boomers, didn't like stocks because everybody at my time of when I was a kid, everybody said anybody invests in the stock market is a gambler. Now everybody's in the stock market. So how did that happen? Well, in 1974, they brought this thing called a 401k out. I won't touch that thing. I would not touch a 401k or an IRA. Why? Because I don't have to. You know, they tell you exactly to tell you when to wear the mask and when to get a vaccine. They tell you what you can invest in, in a 401k and an IRA. I refuse to do that because as an entrepreneur, I create my own assets. I don't need the stock market. You do. I'm not saying don't invest in it. I'm not saying don't have a 401k, don't have an IRA. Just screw you. I'm not going to be told what to do. So that's why between 1960 and 1980, and like stocks, so they, the 401k came out. Then what happened is in 1987, the stock market crashed. So Greenspan comes out, he's a Federal Reserve guy. Remember, the Federal Reserve is not the American. 
It's not a government agency. They control your thoughts. They control your breathing. They control your injections. They control your money. They control how you get your money, how much you make, where you're spending it, where can you travel. They'll know everything about you. It's called totalitarianism. And you tweeted about Bitcoin. You said, um, remember the problem is not Elon Musk or Bitcoin. The problems are the Fed, Treasury, and Biden. Yes. And that's why uh, one of my friends predicted that Bitcoin will go to 1.2 million. I don't know that. I just listened to him. He's a lot smarter than me. You know? But he says 1.2 million. Max Kaiser says 250,000. Some guys say, you know, 100,000. I watch silver. I think silver will go to 100. If silver goes to 100, I make a lot of money. It doesn't make any difference. There's so many ways you can get rich in a capitalist society, but the moment we go to this here, we've lost. So I don't know what the future holds, but I think this is where we're going. So if this happens, my gold and silver are not in this country. I love Bitcoin because it's portable, no storage problems. So that's why I'm very bullish. I'm very optimistic about Bitcoin because there's going to be chaos for the next 10 years. And Bitcoin will go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Ethereum will go up and down. Blockchain will go up and down. And then they're going to try it. Put me, guys like me in jail. Now is the time for us to come together, fight back, and take control. It's time to educate ourselves, our families, and our communities. Because financial education means financial freedom. We know that cryptocurrencies will help us build the new decentralized financial system of the future. A banking system that is of the people, by the people, and for the people. A banking system where access to finance is a fundamental human right. A banking system that is free and fair and welcomes all humans on this earth.